Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce uh, a recipe for making musique concrète. This is a form of music that developed in Paris in the late 1940s and the man responsible for it was the music revolutionary Pierre Schaeffer. At the start of this video I was playing around with a door. This is because one of the most famous, most beautiful pieces of musique concrète features the sound of a door along with the sound of a human sigh. And this was a piece made by another great composer of music concrète, Pierre Henri. Sounds are the ingredients that you're going to use. How many sounds do you need? In the case of Pierre Henri, he just used two sounds, the door and the sigh. And that was enough to make a piece of music that lasts about half an hour. You see, it's not the number of sounds you have, but what you do with them. So first of all, you need to assemble your ingredients. And when you're doing that, think about the different kinds of sound that you've got. There are, for example, continuous sounds that go on for a long time without changing. And there are sounds which are discontinuous, short. There are sounds which begin with a sudden attack, percussive sounds. And there are other sounds that begin more slowly. There are sounds which are noises that have no distinct pitch. And there are other sounds which have a distinct pitch or frequency. But also remember that you can transform one type of sound into another type of sound. We can take, say, a percussive sound, like the sound of a bell, and chop the beginning off, and then it's a different sound altogether. Or we can reverse that sound. We can take a noise and we can filter it in a way that it turns into a pitched sound. In the wonderful world of music concrete, you can transform things into anything. So think about your ingredients and think about what you can do with them. Remember that it's not the number of ingredients, it's what you do. It's the techniques you apply to them. If we think about the basics of composition, we have a few choices. If you've got a sound, you can repeat it and in effect create a loop. Or you can vary it, you can transform it in some way. Or you can introduce a new sound. These basic principles we can summarize as repetition, doing the same thing, variation, doing the same thing but doing it differently, and contrast, introducing something new. These are the basic tools of composition. Then you need to think about the form of your composition, and I suggest you think about it as a simple three-part form. A beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning will introduce some of the ingredients, or maybe all of them. The middle section will have a lot more contrast and activity in it. And at the end, there's some kind of conclusion that maybe refers back to what has happened earlier, but in a slightly different form. This will be the basic form for your piece. How do you put all of this together into a piece of musique concrète? Well, I've created a piece for this video. And in the first 30 seconds of it, you'll hear my beginning. This beginning uses three sounds. First of all, the sound of a saucepan filling with water. Secondly, the sound of an exhaust fan. And thirdly, the sound of something frying in a saucepan. When all of these three are combined, there is a progressive build-up, so that by the time we reach the end of this section, uh, what we hear is something more like uh, Niagara Falls, rather than the sound of a kitchen. In our middle section, I created uh, some loops, which are more rhythmical, to contrast with the opening section. And my loop contains two sounds, the sound of chopping and the sound of the click when a gas flame is igniting on the stove. Up against that, I've offset some other sounds which are not rhythmical. And these all, all come from one source, the sound of a saucepan lid, which I hit on the kitchen bench. By chopping off the beginning of that sound, by reversing uh, the sound, by filtering it in various ways, I've transformed that into a kind of weird melody, I guess. In my final section, uh, I've reintroduced some sounds from earlier. First of all, the frying sound and also the rhythmic click of uh, the ignition of the gas flame 
to form the conclusion of the piece. This makes the three sections of uh, the work I've made just to illustrate how you can make a piece of musique concrète. And I've used the classic techniques of music concrete. Repetition, creating loops, transforming sounds by, for example, chopping off their beginnings, or in tape terms, changing the speed of playback, which affects the, the pitch of the sounds. It's not difficult to do. It's great fun to play around with. Remember, though, that a piece of music concrete is about sound. It's not about telling a story, but it's about creating an interesting piece of music using sound. So when you make your own piece of music concrete, remember that this is music about sound. Sound and what you can do with sound. It's about a new way of listening to sound. It's great fun and it's not difficult to do. You've got the tools now to make a piece of music concrete, so use your imagination. Go ahead and create something out of the sounds you've collected and you'll be amazed at what can come out.